So in this movie, you're essentially playing two different characters stuck in the same body. Mm. How is that different from the work you've done before? I, well, I've never played two different characters stuck in the one body before. So that was the main difference. Um, and, but in terms and of that, how you approached it. Oh, right. <laughs> um, well, I mean, basically, I didn't think, I don't want to kind of simplify it, but basically, it's just almost kind of, um, you're just playing two different characters. So um, we had a lot of time beforehand to rehearse and really go over the script and discuss it and talk about it and all that kind of stuff. And I really got to have an understanding for both of these girls. Um, and I think it helped as well that they're very different to each other. So I think that made it easier for me to understand where they were coming from, where they were going to, and where the kind of tension lied between the two of them and how they started to work together, all that kind of stuff. And the good part is they were both in love with two different men that two you different got guys. to kiss. <laughs> and Wanda's like in love with both of them, but more in love mm -hmm. with Ian, and it's very complicated. So between us girls, out of your two co-stars... How do I know what you're going to ask? I, I don't who's know. Who's the better kisser, Saoirse? <laughs> Um, they're both very good kissers. <laughs> they're both very talented kissers and very, you know, half decent actors. No, I'm joking. They're great actors. Um, oh God, I'm getting the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're both equally talented. And tell me, were you familiar with the work of Stephanie Meyer before approaching this, or did you really sit down, pay attention to, you know, all those movies, or no? Not the movies as much as the books. I mean, I read the first Twilight book um, mm -hmm. soon after it came out, and I was around the age, you know, like 14, where I wanted to marry Edward Cullen when I read the book. So, you know, I really appreciated it. And um, and I really like her writing. I think it really speaks to, to young women, and um, she seems to understand those feelings so well and have a great way of putting that down on the page for for young people to really kind of connect with and relate to. Cool. And now taking a little side question that I'm going to ask everyone, yeah. do you believe in aliens? Do I believe in aliens? I believe I I would imagine that there are other life forces out there. I'm sure there's there's another species floating about somewhere on another planet. There must be, you know, there must be. Right. So Probably. I don't know whether they're going to have massive, like, Martian heads or whether they're all going to have crazy eyes. But um, I'm sure there could... Maybe we're on another planet. Never thought of that. Taking it to a whole new level. See? <laughs> Where are we right now? Who am I? Who, Who exactly? I don't what know. What is this?